cuff, 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 crow. What, my worshipful old master? There he is, see, by the window. Hey, scum to this! Taming of the Shrew is about uh, Katerina, who is the Shrew, uh, and, and Shrew is sort of um, denotes a, a woman that is um, rather traditionally, um, and when I say traditionally, I mean fairly antiquated, um, a, a loud, boorish, bull in a china shop style woman. Yeah, she's um, she's she's vulgar and she's crude and she's rude. I'm playing Kater Katerina, and she is the shrew in the in the team of the shrew. What happens to Katerina is she is. I don't know if you've ever seen Ten Things I Hate About You, the film. Yeah, that's loosely based on the Taming of the Shrew. Um, so Cat Stratford in that is Katerina the Shrew. So she's got an attitude. She's nasty. She's mean. People are scared of her. That's Katerina, and it's based on a Shakespearean character. And um, so Petruchio, aka Heath Ledger, comes in, and based on a bit of a bear, a uh, bit of a dare, a bit of a bet, and um, he says he's going to woo Katerina, and by woo he means tame. Um, so that's the tame of the truth. So I'm, uh, I'm playing Petruchio, um, who's a uh, oh, jerk, really. He's, uh, his dad's just died, he's inherited a whole bunch of money, and he's really bored. Uh, so he's sort of gone on a big holiday, he's basically gone to like Magaluf to sit with his friends, and he just wants to get married, he wants to, he wants to get more money, because he's, he's kind of made that his quest. He's just doing what he wants, and he's, he's proper weird. He's proper weird. He marries her almost against her will, and he wears her down by doing these dreadful things like uh, denying her clothes. You know, he won't buy her any clothes. He won't, buy, he won't give her any food. Um, he treats her awfully, and by the end, she's almost sort of worn out, um, and she turns miraculously into this wonderful woman that's pliant and malleable and, uh, and, and the perfect wife. Um, but, or does she really? Yeah. Is that kind of just playing the game? Um, and, and within that, being the stronger person. I feel like yeah. it part was sort of made um, yeah, me. Like, sometimes it's like a bit of therapy as well when you come to um, rehearsals. Because obviously in the, the first act, I get to be really angry and really dominating and really overpowering and fierce woman, which I like to think I am. So it's really good to play because you get to really release your energy and be angry. My name is Leah and I am playing Bianca. Okay, so can you give us a little background about Bianca? Yeah, so Bianca is Kate's younger sister. She is a little bit of a spoiled brat. She's a bit of a daddy's girl, gets what she wants. But um, Kate's always like tying her up, bullying her. Um, <laughs> There is a scene where I do literally physically get tied up by him and she's dragging <laughs> me around, so that's that's interesting. <laughs> so she is the sort of main love interest in the story, the fact she's got lots of suitors, everyone wants to marry her, but um, the whole where the story sort of comes from is that her dad, Baptista, wants to get Kate, the eldest daughter, married first. My name's Cameron and I'm playing Lucentio. Okay, can you give us a little bit about Lucentio? Um, yeah, uh, Lucentio is a young lord, in effect. He's got his permission off his dad to just sort of go on tour for a bit with his mate and they've ended up in, they've ended up in Padua and he's, uh, he's gone there to study initially, but they end up sort of sacking that off and they end up uh, pursuing sort of their own ends, namely love. His first go-to when he arrives is, right, we're going to have some ingenious study going on, we're going to study all the great classics, and his mate's just there, just like, eh, let's just go pub. And uh, they, uh, I feel like it's sort of the Centio story of sort of finding out that everything else apart from study is far more interesting. <laughs> Softly and swiftly serve the priest is ready so that by the time you get there and they join you at the same time Yeah, I fly beyond Ella, but they may chance to meet thee at home therefore leave us That needs to come out at an absolutely racketing pace because I want you to say that as you move across the space Cool. I don't want you to stop Softly swiftly serve the priest is ready <laughs> I fly beyond Ella, but they may chance to meet thee at home therefore leave us
for the chapter need you out of Leva! Choose but drink before you go. I think I may command your welcome here, and by all likelihood, some cheer is toward. <sighs> You're best not louder. They're busy with them. It's just a great group of people. Um, everyone gets on really well. I've made lots of friends by being here. Also, it is an amateur company, but they, they don't treat it like that. It's, yeah. We've had lots of rehearsals, lots of time to prepare. Everything's taken really seriously, like it, like it's a professional kind of company. But also, you know, still having fun. It's been really nice. Everyone's been really friendly. Everyone's been really, really chill. It's just been good. It's just been a really nice experience. Like the last day was such a nice experience. Um, and the opportunity to do it again was just, you couldn't pass it up really. I just came across Liverpool Network Theatre Group, started coming to the workshops every Tuesday and then you just start networking with different people and meeting different people and going to auditions. You can take so many things out of it, that's something that Liverpool Network Theatre Group mm. absolutely encourages. It's a community based theatre group and by community it encourages things like friendships, yeah. relationships, you know, you okay. build these, <laughs> take from that what you like, um, but you build these close friendships, these supportive relationships that exist within Liverpool Network Theatre Group and, you know, I have friends in the cast, friends that aren't in the cast, friends that are on the committee, whatever, it's, um, it's a lovely kind of familial group. You know, father, oh villain, here's a sail maker in Bergamo! No, 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 you mistake, sir, you mistake, sir. Pray, what do you think is his name? Oh, his name, as if I knew not his name. I've brought him up ever since he was three years old, and he is called Tranio. Away, away, mad ass. His name is Lucentio, and he is mine only son and heir to the lands of me, Signor Vincentio. Well, it's one of Shakespeare's most brilliant plays, but it's still, it's still relatable today because, you know, I'm a massive feminist. There's, I know a lot of my friends are feminists, and it just really shows, you know, a fierce woman, but years and years ago, and it's still, it's, it's a timeless play. Um, but it's also got we're putting a bit of a spin on it as well because it's mm. you know the tale of the shrew. But do I yes, actually get shrewd at the end of the play? Well, I'm not too it's sure. I have true. to come and watch it to find out. The play uh, starts on Friday the 14th of July, uh, and it's going to be at Waterloo Gardens, which is a new venue for us. Um, absolutely beautiful garden, uh, sort of rock garden. Um, right on the waterfront. Then we go to one of our more usual venues, Reynolds Park, which is in the Walls Rose Garden. Um, very popular venue. Um, then we go to uh, the following week on the 21st, we go to Lowlands Park in West Derby. We always like to try and do a North Liverpool venue as well, to try and cover the whole city. Um, so Lowlands Park in West Derby. Then we go to Unitarian Church on Ullet Road, Saturday matinee. That's a new venue for us as well, um, which is really cool because the Unitarian Church, the interior is very, very and uh, Jacobean, lots of black beans on the ceiling, you know, absolutely beautiful. Um, and then Liverpool Central Library, massive venue for us, always sells out. And then Sunday we finish in Sunday Park, which is our oldest venue, um, which is um, an out they're all outdoor, yeah. apart from Liverpool Central Library and the Unitarian Church. So we encourage people to brave the English weather, it might be rainy. Bring a picnic, absolutely. Bring your own booze. So go to Ticket Source, book your tickets. The website is www.ticketsource.co.uk and then slash Taming the Tree. Or you can go to News From Nowhere on Bold Street, which is a lovely bookstore uh, book right at the top. Uh, they have some for us as well. Cuff, 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 cuff